Well, my name is Shane Fitzgerald. I'm a dairy farmer in Port Law in County Waterford. So we're on the foothills of the, the Cumber Mountains. We can't really see it today, it's a bit overcast, but it's a lovely part of the country. So we all want to leave the environment and the, I suppose our, our farm and our land in a better place than we get it. My, my dad was the same, my grandfather was the same, so I'm the same. Like, so no one wants to run down the land, whether that's the, the soil, the water, the biodiversity. We don't have a river running through our farm, but we do have open drains and I'm very conscious that they eventually do get into the watercourse somewhere and, and as well nitrogen can get lost down through the, the soil. So I think all farmers need to be aware that even if you're not in a high risk area, you're still in a, and you still have a high risk of, of, of polluting water courses as well. So I think that's important. So I suppose through our identifying through our pip maps we can see which, which parts of the farm are free drain and other parts are more risk of phosphorus loss. I suppose it's important that we're aware of those challenges and that we can, I suppose, use different methods to try and um, to alleviate those pressures. I think just it's, it's simple things really, like for example our, our field margins was, was a very simple thing, a low cost measure and every farm can do that, it's just a matter of moving out your old fences, it's, it's just a little bit of time but once it's done, it's done. We want to protect the environment but we also need to have a viable future for our, our families so like that, that's all important and farmers are definitely taking note. I think we're very conscious really of, of reducing our, our chemical nitrogen on the farm as a whole, I think it's it's something maybe we became reliant on as farmers, basically we need to be weaned off it really because I suppose we always felt that we couldn't grow grass without nitrogen but we're very conscious now of, I suppose, spreading just enough nitrogen that we need to grow the grass that we need. So as measures like incorporating clover into the, the, into the sward and also multi-species is, is another measure we've used in the last few years. So we have up to 20% of the farm multi-species, so these different varieties, are le they're basically less dependent on nitrogen. With all the, the clover in the sward, we're able to get out, um, or we get I suppose, just as much production from the sward with, with less nitrogen input. So this improves our nitrogen use efficiency. There's a big reduction in nitrogen. We would have been spreading up to 250 kilos per hectare, whereas last year we were back to 170 kilos per hectare. Just from those measures with the, I suppose, multi-species and the clover.